In the summer of 2012, a group of college students interviewed Navajo code talker Chester Nez. These are a few of his stories. My name is Chester Nez. My clan is a black sheep and a uh, Son of Bethany is a sleeping rock. I like the Marine Corps very much. They treat us real mean, you know, training, but that was good for us. When I asked Chester about why he volunteered for the Marines, he said, I was always raised as a warrior. And I said, well, explain to me. I thought of a warrior as someone, you know, riding into battle with war paint and a bow and arrow. I, I didn't have any real concept of what a warrior was. And he said, a warrior is someone who cares and protects, cares for and protects the people he loves and the land he loves. And he said, it was my country that was attacked by the Japanese. I had no choice. I had to join the Marines. I had to be a warrior. I really enjoyed, you know, to protect our country. There's a lot of Navajos that joined the Marine Corps. My group that went in was called the First Original 29. It a, a small box of radio about the size of the seat, about like this, TBX. It's a nice little radio. One guy would crank up the batteries, you know, and the other guy used a microphone to send message. And my, my partner was Robert Piquet. I stayed with him all the way through the war. And we took turns, the one to be crank up the radio, and one with the earphones. I think the most happiest day was the day I was discharged from the Marine Corps. That was the most happiest day, to come home in one piece. I was very happy and very glad to be home, to see my family and relatives. They awarded us a Congressional Gold Medal. And I've been thinking and told my son that I want to hawk the gold. <laughs> but I think that's one of the most beautiful things that I ever received as a Navajo Code Talker. We were very glad to be called into the Marine Corps to serve our country. I was very happy and very glad to serve my country and come back alive. From the house of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli, where he fights the country's battle on the land, air, and the sea. First to fight for right and freedom and to keep our honor clean. We are glad to claim the title, the United States Marine.